Okay, how may your chosen location manage impacts of earthquakes in the future? So again, we're going to Japan. And even without revising this, I know that Japan is famous for all its technology. Um, so it's going to be something to do with technology with Japan. Well, a couple of things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to make their sea walls um, a bit higher because um, in 2011 they were about 6 metres high. Well, the tsunami was 10 metres high, so that's uh, an obvious uh, one that they need to sort out. Um, the power plants that close to the coast was just an accident waiting to happen, so they're going to have to review their nuclear plants and where they're located. Um, and very much technology, um, they're talking about using the cloud now instead of um, sort of conventional servers so that um, in the event of an earthquake or, or tsunami, um, sort of data and sort of the intelligence needed to help sort of organise a response can be dealt with um, easily and by, you know, in cyberspace via the cloud rather than using actual servers that might have experienced power cuts etc. The other thing they're going to do is try and use Wi-Fi and 3G and 4G um, to allow people to communicate because phone lines very quickly get uh, are down and damaged. Wi-Fi seem to um, cope better so people um, on the ground could send images back to the emergency services so they could assess the damage and get help to the right place. So that's four points easily done and, and four marks hopefully. Okay, uh, give you three minutes, I think, for that one. Off you go.